This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I've just come back from Manchester. I was supposed to have a link up with Tommy in person, but the timing just didn't work. Uh, you're a busy man. So, um, yeah, we've got this over Zoom. Um, how you been keeping, Tommy? Long time. Yeah, I've been keeping good, mate, yourself. Yeah, very good, thanks. Uh, yeah, a, a good weekend in Manchester. It's good to see boxing at the top level back. And, uh, yeah, I do want to ask you about um, what you made of Calm v Brook and obviously Kel getting a stoppage win. Uh, yeah, get your reaction, please, Tommy. Yeah, I mean, you know, Amir Khan is a good, uh, he's a good friend of ours. Um, he's always had nice things to say about me, especially, you know, in the build-up to the Paul fight. Um, he, he, he did a good few interviews on me um, and, the, and Paul you know, as we was going to fight. Um, and he always backed me all the way. He always said very nice things about me. So I was, uh, you know, I was, I was rooting for him. Um, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Um, you know, the better man won on the night. Kell Brook um, showed that he's still got a bit left in the tank. Um, you know, and all, all congratulations to Kell Brook. Um, but in all honesty, I, I think it was a great, I think it was a good fight. Definitely a good entertaining fight. Um, I did think it lived up to the hype that it was going to be. It was a good fight. Um, you know, it was very entertaining, but... I'd like to see both fighters retire now. Um, I think both fighters have been world champions. They've had 40-odd fights apiece. You know, they've done everything that they, they needed to do. So, you know, just retire now. Enjoy your family lives. You know, boxing's um, it's a tough game. You've got, to know, you've got to know when to hang it up, you know. Um, so, yeah, it was a great fight, but I'd like to see them both retire now. Yeah, I've heard that a lot. Of course, there's a, a very strong case for Amir to retire, and he hinted at it um, next. With Kells, a little bit different because it was such a good performance. Um, and, you know, there's been talks about a potential fight with Eubank Jr. Or, or Conor Ben even in a big clash. But then some people are saying, don't care enough that it was an amazing spectacle. It was the one we waited for so long for, over 10 years for, go out on that performance and win. Yeah, definitely. I mean, at the end of the day, I think it's, uh, you know, a loss for Amir Khan, you know, a loss is a loss. Yeah, don't get me wrong, but it's still, you know, it's not like... Um, a terrible loss to go out on, if you know what I mean. You know, packed out Manchester Arena, 20-odd thousand people there. Um, it was a fight that lived up to its expectations. It was entertaining all the way. Um, so, you know, I, d I definitely don't think it's a bad note to go out, to go out on, even though he lost. Um, obviously, for Brook, he's, he's obviously in the mindset, thinking that he's still got it. You know, he's... He, he's He's up there, is this, is that. But at the end of the day, um, both members are on obviously the decline. You know, it doesn't take a, a mastermind to work that out. But, you know, at the end of the day, I just think they've both accomplished all that they're going to accomplish, you know. Um, and just, just to retire, I think that's the best thing for both men, you know, leave, leave the fighting now to these young books who's coming through um, and especially the ones at the top. Um, I, like I said before, I think boxing is too out of, a, out of a game. They've both got miles on the clock, um, especially Amir Khan. You know, he's had a few... He's had a few big shots passed throughout through his career. Um, Kelbrook again the same. Mm. Um, so you know, at the end of the day, I think they've had that, you know, big defining fight. Now I think it's I think it's best if they score out like that. If, if I'm being honest. Well, it was great to see uh, a huge fight involving two Brits. Of course, we are waiting for another one, uh, none other than your brother Tyson Fury and Dillian White. We are now speaking on Monday the 21st of Feb. It's half seven in the evening. Uh, report suggesting that. Dillian has until 6am of the 22nd of Feb to sign the contract. We know your brother signed a while back. What's going on, Tommy, you think? Dillian still hasn't signed. What's happening? I mean, I don't really know what his tactics are, if I'm being quite honest. I don't really know what he's, um, what he's intending to do here. I mean, I know he's been, you know, I'm not going to start figures, but I know he's been offered uh, very, very good money for the fight. Uh, money that he's certainly not going to see again in his career. So, I mean, I'm, I'm scratching my head, you know, all the time I'm here. He's not signed, really, because the type of money that he's getting offered, he's never going to see that in his career. Um, I don't know, you know, him or his management think, thinking that he is, but he definitely isn't. Um, you know, without Tyson, who does he fight next? I mean, he, he's just at the back of the pack. This is his shot. You know, he's been going banging on about he wants his title shot for years now. You know, oh, I've fought so many eliminators. Well, sign the dotted line. You know, there's your shot against the best fighter in the world. If, you, if there's any, if, if there's any time to go and prove your worth, it's now, isn't it? And he's got his bet. He's gonna get. He's gonna. He's got the best opportunity of his life to go and do it. And he's and he's dragging it out. I mean, maybe he's playing mind games. Maybe he's holding out for more. I don't know. But he's not going to get more because at the end of the day, Tyson don't need Dillian White. Dillian White needs Tyson, and that's very very clear to see. Um, but I don't know. There must be something in the water with with this business making at the minute. I mean, AJ's just suffered a £15 million pound loss for doing nothing. Um, and Dillian White looks like missing out on a hell of a lot of millions. Um, so I don't know. They need to get their act together, really, don't they? 
Well, there's been a suggestion that he is playing mind games um, and leaving it kind of to the last minute where he might sign tonight or, or tomorrow morning. Um, you know your brother very well, obviously, and the, the kind of mental strength he possesses. Is that, is that going to affect him all this, leaving it to the last minute? No, definitely not. I think, you know, everybody knows by now, Tyson, you, you physically can't get in that man's mind. He's the master of uh, mind games. He knows how to play. He knows how to get inside your mind. Um, and Tyson's the best fighter on the planet by a country mile. So he doesn't he doesn't care who he fights because Tyson doesn't need a dance part partner. Tyson can sell out arenas, stadiums, whatever it may be, by himself, even if he was fighting the postman. You know, so Tyson don't need all these other heavyweights. They all need him because Tyson's the only reigning undefeated champion left. You know, Tyson's the best man in the world, so why is he going to bother if he fights number one, number two, number three, or number four? You know, it doesn't matter to Tyson. They're just other men standing in the corner. You know, when it's fight night for Tyson, Tyson's the main attraction. He's the one everyone's there to see. You know, he's the one with all the support. You know, the other guys are just there to take a paycheck and do the best they can. You know, that's just the era we're living in now. You know, there's nobody in there. There's nobody out there good enough to lace Tyson's boots. I mean, in my opinion, Deontay Wilder's the second best heavyweight on the planet by a country mile. I think he knocks out all the rest of them. And look what Tyson did with him. Took his best shots, got up, beat him from pillar to post in the second fight, even beat him at his own game in the third fight. Stood there and had a war with the most dangerous puncher that's probably ever been. You know, you can't, I just don't see any way that anyone can beat Tyson. The only way Tyson can be beat is by himself. And I've always said that. So, you know, whether Dillian White signs or not, you know, Tyson's going to get on with his career, um, but nothing's getting inside his mind. Listen, Tommy, thank you very much uh, for your time. This is just a short video on Calm Brook and what's going on with uh, your brother and Dillian. We're going to recall something else now. Just let the viewers know that I'm going to get Tommy on talking about Jake Paul. I'm going to put this out tomorrow, i.e. Tuesday. But yeah, enjoy the video tonight and then, yeah, make sure you tune in tomorrow evening for uh, Tommy's response to Jake Paul, which uh, we'll record now, okay?